Okay, hi Tonong. Okay, so. Sorry Tonong. Okay, how are you, Tono, for your vacation? Yes, I'm fine, and the vacation is very fun and incorrect. Okay, it's very fun. Are you with Messi during the vacation? Yes. Wow, where did you go? In where? I went to St. Miki and I eat some food and walk on the bridge. Wow, that's very nice. Did you enjoy? Yes. Wow. How's how about Messi? Did you meet there in 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 vacation? Yes. Let's uh. sing with me and and have fun and enjoy. Wow, that's why Messi also will going to back class tonight because Messi is quite busy. <laughs> he is quite busy also. Did you enjoy? Okay. Um. He also went to where? He told me she went to where? Yeah, she told me she went to where. Okay? Okay, so let us start now. Let us have before we have pre-intermediate. Now let us have the... Uh, Okay, let us have now the pet listening and writing. Okay, let us have here. Are you ready to know? Before that, teacher will have a vocabulary. We have here stream. This one, Tono, is a stream. Next one, we have valley. Oh, this one is a Valley. Another we have pure, clean, and not containing any harmful substance. Okay, pure. It means not containing any harmful substance. Scarf. Okay, this one. The scarves you put in your head. That's scarf. Okay. And that. Okay, this is the scarf. Oh, can you see the scarf? Uh, then the sun we finish. This one, listening, this one, 3.3? Yes. Oh, wait, huh? The listening 3.3 .3 is finished. Oh, wait, I haven't had here. Oh, no, wait, we have. It's 3.3 .3 reading. My goodness, Oh, yeah, we're done. So we are now in 3.4. Sorry, I did not watch. We are now in 3.4 for listening. Okay? Okay. Just a minute. The weather in my country, too, no? Today, it's very, very hot. Literally, very hot, oh, no? That's why teacher ends. Um, I'm not feeling well. And the weather uh, is hot in the morning, so in the afternoon and evening, mm. a soft rain and cool. In the morning, is it hot? Yes, very hot and very sunny. Uh, so let us have 3.4, okay? It's very hot also in the morning. Here, it's very hot, the whole thingy. Uh, no, just like the sun sets just like 6 p.m. Imagine 6 p.m. the sun sets. Okay, that's too hard. It's already 6 p.m. And still the sun is 5 p.m. The sun is still very hot. Okay. 
Okay, let us 3.4 listening. I will share now. Really, it's re that's why Tono teacher ants like I'm having a fever because of the very hot weather. Uh, the whole day, teacher Anne went driving in the city. It's very hot, very, very hot outside. Share this. Okay, this one, Tono. Ah, uh, this one. Hmm? We have here the vocabulary. We have the word engine. Okay. I think I think is we finish the. I do. It's here. It's three. The last time we have it's three point three. Three point three listening is finished. This one check that one. Oh, finish. Okay. Wait. How? Why? Wait, in my record, it's not 3.3. Wait, we have, I need to double check. Oh, it's 3.3 reading, 3.3 listening. Not yet, Tono. But anyway, if you think that is finished, let us move. But here, we did not finish the 3.4 listening. This one, let us have the... One four point one listening. Okay, this is the last. We are now in four. We did not uh, have four yet. Okay, we are still three. We have three point three writing. We did not have this yet. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's 4.1. Okay. Listening, okay? So we have the vocabulary word for 4.1, okay? We have the word fog, okay? The thick cloud of very small drops of water in the air close to the land or sea. That is very difficult to see through. That is why if there is fog, it's very hard for us to look at to see because it's quite complicated. Recognize means to know who somebody is and then or what something is when we see or hear them. Forecast, it means you say what you think will happen, like weather forecast. What is the weather forecast for today? The weather forecast for today is hot weather. Okay, that's hot weather. Okay. Next is put away. So put away, it means you have to put something in place where it is kept. It's put away. Okay. Pack, it means you will put the clothes inside your bag. You pack it. Next one, please try... To lesson. Ready? Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. 1. Which activity will the family do this year? We're going to try an activity holiday this year, but we all want to do something different. The children want to go cycling, but their father wants to go on a water sports holiday. You know, sailing and windsurfing, things like that. And I'd like to go walking. We all want to go together, so we've decided to let the children choose this year, and we'll choose next year. Now listen again. We're going to try an activity holiday this year, but we all want to do something different. The children want to go cycling, 
but their father wants to go on a water sports holiday, you know, sailing and windsurfing, things like that. And I'd like to go walking. We all want to go together, so we've decided to let the children choose this year, and we'll choose next year. Two. Which is the woman's house? How will I recognize your house when I call for you, Sue? Well, it's the same as all the others in the street, but look out for a big tree. It's by the front gate and it's covered in lovely white flowers at the moment. Now listen again. How will I recognize your house when I call for you, Sue? Well, it's the same as all the others in the street, but look out for a big tree. It's by the front gate and it's covered in lovely white flowers at the moment. Three. Why will drivers have problems this morning? And on to this morning's local traffic news. Driving conditions have improved now that the early morning fog is gone. Rain is forecast for tonight, but it'll be fine during the day. The police have warned drivers to expect delays coming into town because of repairs to Victoria Bridge and advised lorries to find another route if possible. Now listen again. And on to this morning's local traffic news. Driving conditions have improved now that the early morning fog is gone. Rain is forecast for tonight, but it'll be fine during the day. The police have warned drivers to expect delays coming into town because of repairs to Victoria Bridge and advised lorries to find another route if possible. Four. What time will Robin leave the house? Oh, Robin! Pete's just rung to say that he'll be here a bit later than he said. The plane's going to take off at eight o'clock now, so you don't need to check in until about quarter past seven. He said he'd be round to pick you up at half past six instead of six o'clock. Is that OK? It'll give you some more time to pack anyway. Now listen again. Oh, Robin, Pete's just rung to say that he'll be here a bit later than he said. The plane's going to take off at eight o'clock now, so you don't need to check in until about quarter past seven. He said he'd be round to pick you up at half past six instead of six o'clock. Is that OK? It'll give you some more time to pack anyway. Five. What did Simon do this morning? Oh, Simon, you haven't even washed the dishes. Have you done anything this morning? I've been really busy, Mum. I paid the window cleaner who called, and I was going to put away all the shopping you bought yesterday. But Pete rang, and he kept me talking for ages. Now listen again. Oh, Simon... You haven't even washed the dishes. Have you done anything this morning? I've been really busy, Mum. I paid the window cleaner who called, and I was going to put away all the shopping you bought yesterday. But Pete rang, and he kept me talking for ages. Six. What hasn't the girl packed yet? Have you got everything you need for your holiday? Well, I've packed my soap and toothbrush, if that's what you mean, but I can't find any toothpaste anywhere. There's probably some in the bathroom cupboard, but what about a towel? Have you remembered to pack that? Of course. Now listen again. Have you got everything you need for your holiday? Well... I've packed my soap and toothbrush, if that's what you mean, but I can't find any toothpaste anywhere. There's probably some in the bathroom cupboard, but what about a towel? Have you remembered to pack that? Of course. Seven. What has the woman just bought? What do you think? 
I found it in that new department store yesterday. I think it's perfect. It'll keep the sun off my face and it'll go really well with the dress I'm wearing to the wedding. It's the same colour as my bag too. I just need a new jacket now. Now listen again. What do you think? I found it in that new department store yesterday. I think it's perfect. It'll keep the sun off my face and it'll go really well with the dress I'm wearing to the wedding. It's the same colour as my bag too. I just need a new jacket now. That is the end of part one. Okay. okay. Number one. Which activity will the family do this year? Which activity will the family do this year? Yes, letter B. Mm, letter B. Okay. Which is the woman's house? Yes, letter A. Mm -hmm. And why will Tono? Drivers have problems this morning. What did what happened? It's letter C. Mm -hmm. And four. What time will Robin leave the house? What time will Robin leave the house? It's letter B. Mm -hmm. And six. What hasn't the girl packed yet? What hasn't the girl packed yet? It's letter C. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. And what has the woman just bought? It's letter C. Okay. Letter C. Okay. Next one. Okay. We have vocabulary tone. No? First, we have to one surprise. It means you surprise. Oh, to one surprise. It means, oh, I feel surprised. Oh, like that. I am surprised. Okay. You feel Surprise, okay. Next, and fit it means not in good physical condition, like not fit, you are sick, you're not doing good, okay, like that, you're unfit. Next is scenery, scenery it means the natural features of an area, such as mountains, valleys, and rivers. Okay, that's scenery, that one you can see. That Oh, there's a mountain. It's a beautiful scenery. Next one. Here, you will hear an interview about Angela Morgan, who was recently flown around the world in a helicopter. Now turn to part two. Questions eight to 13. You will hear an interview with Angela Morgan, who has recently flown around the world in a helicopter. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. And today I'm talking to Angela Morgan. Angela, what made you decide to fly around the world in a helicopter? People often ask me why I decided to do it, but I'm surprised they don't ask, why did you wait so long? Because I'm 57 now. I'm sorry I didn't do it years ago, because it was such a wonderful experience. But the main purpose for going was to collect £500,000 for sick children by getting different companies to pay us money for each kilometre that we flew. And now everyone calls you the flying grandmother. <laughs> yes. The thing about growing older is that you don't feel any different inside. So you have to do as much as you can while you can. 
I'm healthy, and my own children are grown up, so I was free to go. And what about preparing for the trip? Well, it took five months to plan. I was going to go with my husband, but he couldn't take time off work. Instead, I made the trip with my flying teacher, who became a great friend while she was teaching me to fly three years ago. I passed my flying test after two weeks. Found it quite easy. And what was the trip like? It was really exciting, flying over so many different countries. The only thing was that we weren't able to spend much time sightseeing because we only stopped to get water and to camp. We took very little with us, but we did have tents and cooking things to use at night. We had to spend two days in Thailand because of an engine problem, but that was the longest we spent anywhere. Fortunately, nothing else went wrong, so we just kept on going after that. What did you enjoy most about the trip? The most wonderful thing about flying was seeing the differences in the countryside as we flew across twenty-six countries in ninety-seven days. We flew over oceans and close to mountains. Sometimes it was quite frightening, but we didn't travel when it was dark. We spent several nights camping in the desert, and the sky was just full of stars. I made a video of the trip. You'll see it in a minute. Was there anything that you missed while you were away? Well, to my surprise, I didn't miss going to work or going out to restaurants or films. The most difficult thing was sitting still all the time. I normally play tennis and swim several times a week, so I started to feel very unfit. I missed hot water and proper showers sometimes too, but not as much as I thought I would. Now listen again. And today I'm talking to Angela Morgan. Angela, what made you decide to fly around the world in a helicopter? People often ask me why I decided to do it, but I'm surprised they don't ask. Why did you wait so long? Because I'm fifty-seven now. I'm sorry I didn't do it years ago, because it was such a wonderful experience. But the main purpose for going was to collect five hundred thousand pounds for sick children by getting different companies to pay us money for each kilometer that we flew. And now everyone calls you the flying grandmother. <laughs> yes, the thing about growing older is that you don't feel any different inside, so you have to do as much as you can while you can. I'm healthy, and my own children are grown up, so I was free to go. And what about preparing for the trip? Well, it took five months to plan. I was going to go with my husband, but he couldn't take time off work. Instead, I made the trip with my flying teacher, who became a great friend while she was teaching me to fly three years ago. I passed my flying test after two weeks. Found it quite easy. And what was the trip like? It was really exciting, flying over so many different countries. The only thing was that we weren't able to spend much time sightseeing because we only stopped to get water and to camp. We took very little with us, but we did have tents and cooking things to use at night. We had to spend two days in Thailand because of an engine problem, but that was the longest we spent anywhere. Fortunately, nothing else went wrong, so we just kept on going after that. What did you enjoy most about the trip? The most wonderful thing about flying was seeing the differences in the countryside as we flew across twenty-six countries in ninety-seven days. We flew over oceans and close to mountains. Sometimes it was quite frightening, but we didn't travel when it was dark. We spent several nights camping in the desert, and the sky was just full of stars. I made a video of the trip. You'll see it in a minute. Was there anything that you missed while you were away? Well, to my surprise, I didn't miss going to work or going out to restaurants or films. 
The most difficult thing was sitting still all the time. I normally play tennis and swim several times a week, so I started to feel very unfit. I missed hot water and proper showers sometimes too, but not as much as I thought I would. That is the end of part. Tennis teacher. Okay, so here, number one, the main reason for Angela's trip was to what? Is let her see. Uh, correct. Better be. Okay, yes. what does Angela say about her life now? What does Angela say about her life now? Mm, I think it's let her be. Mm -hmm. When Angela had flying lessons, when Angela had flying lessons, mm, I think is is let us see. Mm -hmm. During the trip, Angela and her teacher mm, is let I yes. Mm. What did Angela enjoy the most about the trip? What did Angela enjoy the most about the trip? Let's let us see. Mm, let us see. And what did Angela miss most while she was away? Let us be. Let her be. Okay, very good. You will hear a radio announcer talking about activity at the museum called Science World. And for each questions, okay. Fill in the missing information in the numbered space. Okay, let's listen. Okay. Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. You will hear a radio announcer talking about activities at a museum called Science World. For each question, Fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part 3. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. This week in the local activities part of the show, we're taking a look at Science World, the new place to visit for a family day out. During your visit, you'll be able to find out about all the latest developments in science, as well as trying lots of experiments for yourself. This is no ordinary museum, I promise you. There's a program of special events, which next week includes an electricity workshop on Monday afternoon, and the chance to do some experiments with water on Wednesday morning. Of special interest is the regular Saturday evening talk. Next week, Science World welcomes a famous American scientist who is going to talk about space travel. It isn't expensive to visit Science World, with tickets priced at £3 for adults and £2 for children. Talks and other special events are extra, though, with an entrance fee of £1.75 for adults, and there are reductions for children. If you want to go to a special event or talk, then book your tickets direct from Science World on 284311 or pick them up from the tourist office. 
While you're at Science World, you'll be able to enjoy a snack in the Newton Cafe. It's a bit small, but the food is good. It's open all day, and it has a lovely view because it's beside the beach. Still not sure? Well, why not give Science World a call on two eight four three double one? If you say you heard about Science World on this program, they will send you one free ticket to next month's exhibition, which is about computers. It's suitable for families and school parties. And now, let's look at what. Now listen again. This week in the local activities part of the show, we're taking a look at Science World, the new place to visit for a family day out. During your visit, you'll be able to find out about all the latest developments in science, as well as trying lots of experiments for yourself. This is no ordinary museum, I promise you. There's a program of special events, which next week includes an electricity workshop on Monday afternoon, and the chance to do some experiments with water on Wednesday morning. Of special interest is the regular Saturday evening talk. Next week, Science World welcomes a famous American scientist who is going to talk about space travel. It isn't expensive to visit Science World, with tickets priced at three pounds for adults and two pounds for children. Talks and other special events are extra, though, with an entrance fee of one pound seventy-five for adults. And there are reductions for children. If you want to go to a special event or talk, then book your tickets direct from Science World on two eight four three double one, or pick them up from the tourist office. While you're at Science World, you'll be able to enjoy a snack in the Newton Cafe. It's a bit small, but the food is good. It's open all day, and it has a lovely view because it's beside the beach. Still not sure? Well, why not give Science World a call on two eight four three double one? If you say you heard about Science World on this program, they will send you one free ticket to next month's exhibition, which is about computers. It's suitable for families and school parties. And now, let's look at. That is the end of part. Teacher. Okay, so number 14, this is next week's special events. Okay, so time of the day, what is the time of the day? I think it's four past later. Ah, uh, it is Monday afternoon. Okay, how about the events okay talk about space travel by well-known scientists from where new york <laughs> from okay it's new york okay it's from united states america it's new york okay science world entrance fees are three two for children and tickets for a special event cost extra how much if one one seventy five. Okay, one point seventy five. Okay, and get tickets direct from Science World on two eight four three one one. Again, get tickets direct from Science World on two eight four three one one or from the where. Mm. And it office from the tourist office. And the Newton Cafe is next to the where? Newton Cafe is next to the side the sea. Mm, next to the beach. Uh, it's next to the beach. Do you, you know what is beach? Yeah. Near the sea. Okay. Phone Science World for free ticket. To exhibition about what? Mm, it's a two a four three double one. It is about what? 
computer. A computer. They will explain because science world for free ticket to exhibition about computer. What is in the computer about science? Okay. Because our topic kano is science world. Okay. This one. Okay. Look at the picture. What can you say in the picture, Tono? If you were gonna check. Look at the picture. What can you say? I think Aaron, I think, think the people is raise the hand. Raise their hands. The students, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids are raising their hands. hands. Why do you think they are raising their hands? Why? Why do you think Tono they are raising their hands? I think the teacher asked a question. And Very good. Okay. Again, because the teacher, again, Tono, again. The teacher asked the kids a question. Correct. The teacher asked the kids the question. Very good. Now let us decide if it is incorrect. If it is correct, you choose A, okay? A. If it is not correct, you choose what? B, okay? B, okay? Ready? Now turn to part four. Questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a boy, Tom, and his sister, Claire, about school. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part four. Hey, ready? Yes. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork? You'll never get all your homework done, especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term? You've got a good brain, and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well, I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean, take maths, for example. OK, it's your life. But you know you have your examinations next year for college. And at most of the good colleges, they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted then you'll have to find a job, and that won't be easy. Oh, I've thought about that already. I'm thinking of applying to do sports science at college, and someone told me some of the colleges often take students with lower marks if they're good at sport. Well, I wouldn't depend on what one of your friends says if I were you. For your information, it wasn't one of my friends. It was a teacher at school. I'm only trying to help. And anyway, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's Dad you have to worry about. Yes, OK. I know you're right about that. I'll have a chat with him tonight and explain things again. Good luck. Hey, Now listen again. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork? You'll never get all your homework done, 
Especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term? You've got a good brain and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well, I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean, take maths, for example. OK, it's your life. But you know you have your examinations next year for college. And at most of the good colleges, they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted, then you'll have to find a job, and that won't be easy. Oh, I've thought about that already. I'm thinking of applying to do sports science at college, and someone told me some of the colleges often take students with lower marks if they're good at sport. Well, I wouldn't depend on what one of your friends says if I were you. For your information, it wasn't one of my friends. It was a teacher at school. I'm only trying to help. And anyway, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's Dad you have to worry about. Yes, OK. I know you're right about that. I'll have a chat with him tonight and explain things again. Good luck. That is the end of part four. Okay. So here now, Claire thinks their father will be pleased by Tom's news. Now I have six minutes to check and copy. Okay, what is the answer? Claire thinks their father be pleased by Tom's news. What is the answer? It's letter B. Mm -hmm. Letter B, correct. Tom believes he can manage both swimming and schoolwork. Mm, it's letter A. Tom teacher think Tom is clever. It's letter B. And Tom dislike doing math. Mm, a. And Claire think it is a bad idea to take a friend's advice. It's letter B. Mm -hmm. And Tom finally realizes he will need his father's agreement to his plans. It's letter A. Mm -hmm. Letter A. Okay, very good. Tana. Okay, let us have. Oh, we are done with our topic for today. So now, Tono, we have 4.1 listening. Okay, Tono, please be reminded. Tomorrow I will see you 4 30 p.m. Is that correct? Okay. Hmm? Mm, tomorrow I think is 5 p.m. Okay, 5 p.m. is okay. Like today, like today. Okay. Yeah, like today's schedule, 5 p.m. Okay, that would be good. So teacher can take a rest too. Teacher is not feeling well. So maybe tomorrow morning, teacher will take a rest. <laughs> okay? okay? Yes. Thank you so much for today too. No, you're doing great. Hey, very good. Bye-bye. Yes, sir.